Hello, welcome to week two of the Celebrity Song Remix Challenge presented by Amazon Future Engineer. We hope you're ready to code while composing some great beats. We heard some really cool remixes on SoundCloud last week and are looking forward to hearing even more this week. This week's challenge is Remix for Mood, using effects, pitch, and tempo. Think about your favorite song. What do the first 20 or 30 seconds tell you about the song? Does it set the tone or the mood for you? We're going to use effects in your sketch, along with techniques in tempo and pitch, to use common stems to compose an introduction for a song. This intro remix must be a minimum of 20 seconds, but less than 40 seconds. Additionally, it must include at least one stem from Common's God is Love song. Finally, you must use an effect within an envelope or multiple effects to create a mood to your introduction. If this is your first weekly challenge, you'll need to do two things prior to getting started. If you've already completed them, you're ready to jump into coding at your sketch. The first thing to do is to register at amazonfutureengineer.com slash earsketch and click on the first link, weekly challenge sign up. You only need to do this once, so if you register this week, you won't have to do it again for the remainder of the challenges. The next thing to do is to create an account on SoundCloud. This will allow you to share your music for a chance to win prizes. Now, you're ready to start coding at earsketch.godtech.edu. If you do not have an EarSketch account, this is your time to create one. Your first step in starting this challenge is to create a new script. You can choose the name for the script and the language you choose to code in. If you're new to coding, we recommend that you start with Python. Your script will open in the code editor where you will see the function in it signaling the start of your code. So now, it's time to make some music. Last week we learned how to add music clips to our script and include an effect. We will start by doing a quick review of these concepts, but then we will move on to different techniques to create mood in your song. If you need additional review of these concepts, please watch the week one video on our challenge website. We will start our intro remix by typing in the function fit media between set tempo and finish. We will now add a sound, a common clip, the track the clip will play on, and how long the clip will play. Using the fit media function, we'll code our common clip to play on track one from measures one through five. Remember that you can search for a sound clip by artist, genre, or instrument. The common stems are located at the top of the sound clip library. We also learned about the set effect function, which allows us to change the qualities of the sound in the project. We can change the volume, pitch, or add delays or distortions. In the first week, we added a static effect to the entire track or audio clip. This week, we're going to learn how to create effects to similar portions of the track, smaller ones, and define how an effects parameters change over time through the use of envelopes. Envelopes are described as using a series of value time pairs. We're going to use an effect with envelopes to create a fade with our audio clip. Fades are gradual increases or decreases in the volume of an audio clip. They can be used in an introduction of a song to build excitement or set the tone for the song. You might have heard these in the songs that you listen to. To code in a fade, we're going to start with our set effect function again. We will type set effect and this time instead of four arguments, we will have seven. In addition to our track number, effect name, effect parameter, we will include the start and end value and times for our effect. If we're looking for our audio clip on track one to fade in, which means get louder, between measures one and five, we could write this. Set effect in the parentheses will have one volume gain negative 20, one, 10, and five as our seven parameters. This codes for the audio clip on track one to increase its volume value from negative 20 to 10 between measures one and five. Let's listen to this volume increase by running our script in the DAW and clicking play. Do you hear the fade in? If you wanted your clip to fade out, you would use the same effect name and parameters, but switch the values. In addition to volume, you can use envelopes with other effects such as filter and reverb. For more information on effects, review chapter 5 and 30 on the EarSketch curriculum. Other elements in our EarSketch code that affect the mood of our remix are tempo and pitch. Sorry, tempo is the speed of the music and is measured in beats per minute. The function set tempo is below in it in the code editor. The tempo is automatically set to 120, which is a marching speed. However, you can change the tempo between 45 and 220. Different genres of music have different tempos. For example, hip hop have may, uh, may have a tempo of 80 beats per minute and techno may have 125 beats per minute. The pitch of the sound determines how high or low the sound is on a relative scale. As you listen to different sound clips, you may decide to include songs of a similar pitch to set the mood for the song. As you code your song this week, pay attention to the tempo and pitch and how this affects the overall tone or mood of the song. Review chapter six for more information on tempo and pitch. 
Add some more sound clips and effects and see what kind of mood you can inspire in your short remix intro. Be creative with it. After finishing your song, remember to debug your code and check for syntax errors. Chapter 15 and chapter 31 can help you identify errors in your code. When you're ready to submit your song, you will share it to SoundCloud. These songs will be the most, with the most plays will be awarded an Amazon gift card. So remember to share with your friends and family so that you can get the most plays. Songs for the f this weekly challenge are due Sunday, April 12th at 11.59 p.m. We can't wait to hear what you compose. Good luck and happy coding.